Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. The gold leads throughout different times in the game that I think are very indicative of their level of performance. Incredible early game, and it really starts to struggle. That's where they start to be you know, more difficult on the coordinated play. But we're going to see if they can pull off his dive. All right, 4v2. King into Mohan. Got to try to survive this one. Who's going to take the turret aggro here at the very start? Looks like Mako. TES walking back away, but now Tien with that three talent strike already primed. It's first blood though, the other direction. DK doing a good job. Mohan surely has to die here. A one for one trade, but in a 2v4, DK is going to be all right with that one. I mean, there's good news and bad news for TK. The good news is that Kingen doesn't lose his life, uh, but the bad news is he's being denied a lot of farm, so he's trying his best to get back underneath the tower. But he is stunned. 369 Mako and Jackie Love want to try to deny even more here if they can. Kingen popping the counter strike, staying alive for now. Nice two man stun coming out, but Kingen down to about 50 HP, still staying alive somehow. But the volley claims his life. Top esports get there. They're being covered by Lucid, and they should be able to fix this wave no problem. But we can see Jackie Love already is starting a bit of a slow push here for himself. Yeah, and Mako just going to have to try to deal with this 2v3 situation now. Moham immediately in with a crash down, shattering strike. Mako at 100 HP and aiming is on the board. A clean gank from Deep Plus Kia. They've got and a just... really good trade on Cream, who doesn't have his teleport available. So uh, did lose a couple of minions there as he gets shoved in. The wave isn't quite Core top. Back. They're already going to be able to take the tier one top. They will win the race on this. And Top just playing the map really, really well. Overall, I think Top Esports have just been playing the better macro game than DK mm -hmm. have in the laning phase. I and pretty much wherever they move on the map is allowing Top Esports a lot of control around these uh, towers and, and these neutral objectives. The fact that they secured the It's going to go for that scaling build, so even kind of more indexing towards uh, what they do see as, I think, their win condition, which is going to be scaling 5v5. I mean, I can understand taking the Aftershock sometimes with the big health stacking build as well, since you're just building these items that give you such insane health pools but no resistances, having that extra tankiness from the Aftershock proc, as long as you don't miss your E and your R. I mean, if you miss those, <laughs> then I guess why did you take the thing in the first place? But bottom lane tier one turret in some serious trouble now, as a little bit more damage gets it done. Moham jumps in here with a Magnet Storm, immediately trying to make the fight happen in the Triple 2v2. TV. Meanwhile, the jungler fight off to the side ain't gonna matter because Moham is already dead. The arrows fly and D. DK dies, top esports, picking up three as Shomaker and Kingen tried to join up to help everybody else, but now they're in a bad spot too. Cream and TN chasing after Shomaker. He's trying to buy himself a little bit of extra time. Top esports are on the hunt for the Oriana. Shomaker still trying to get away. Two man shockwave. It don't even matter, man. Shomaker is going nowhere fast. Top esports, turret plus four. Top esports, again, just wisely. Sometimes not, but when you're already really ahead, it becomes so annoying because they're always going to get the push. Now they have the Herald. This is going to be 12 Void Mites popping so out many. missing. It's like a, a clown car of Void Mites <laughs> running out there. King is jumping in though with a counter strike for the engage. Tien is low, but top esports are going between worlds. Tien gets away and a massive amount of damage pours into the DK lines. Jackie Love grabbing the first kill. Moham is down. Lucid jumps over the wall, but all DK can do is run. Top esports are that far ahead. Tian played that flawlessly. Bear in mind he has no flash. He gets engaged on from a flanking King. He then gets Skana ulted underneath the tower, and patiently what he does is he masterfully ult. maneuvered by the top esports jungler in what looked like should have been a death sentence with that collapse. But, but the only thing there is no contest for DK. They know how worrying it is to even try to go out and contest anything in neutral territory. Yeah, I mean it's really problematic now, and not only are they just trading a, a tower for a dragon, because Cream is pushing down bot side looking for that tier two. It does survive for now, but that thing is about to go down to these void mites. That's 700 Only 147. Goal. He is very far away from that 225 breakpoint. And by the time it comes in, could be too little too late. Tien over the wall. Again, maybe looking for a fight. King it jumps in for the counter strike. Jackie Love could be in a little bit of trouble here. Gets away for now. They're locking up the jacks. King can't do it. Moham's about to die here, too. Finally, they get one back on DK's side as Cream gets popped, but Moham's still getting away with only 100 HP. Lucid's here on the front line. Has to try to flash to get out of it. The Impale's going to be flashed back by Tien. As DK, they trade even they all across the map. Uh, but this bot lane in particular is really standing out here in game one of this series. And now top esports have no intention of slowing down, invading the enemy red side jungle. Lucid and aiming, yeah, they're hanging around. They don't want to allow the red buff to just be stolen away this easily. But top would love for these guys to step a little bit too close. And Lucid does just that. There's no way out for the Skarner. Tien ends up taking the kill. And gentlemen, we're 21 minutes into the game. The enemy jungler is down. Top esports. 
forwards have it take it straight to the Baron. Yeah, it's so tough. And Lucid had no flash, so being that far forward over towards the red buff is incredibly risky. And now it's going to be a largely uncontested Baron here as King is just going to try to push and grab that bounty off of the Tier 2 bot, get a little bit of gold back for the team. But this kind of lead, plus the Baron buff, plus six grubs, is likely to mean nearly the end of the game, you have to think. And you could even see the early TP from 369. Once Top Esports was confident they weren't going to be challenged at the Baron, 369 won't even allow the Tier 2 turret in the bottom lane to fall. The Tier 1 in mid is claimed by DK, but now they got to be careful because Kingen's in some trouble. Cream and Jackie Love in hot pursuit as Kingen wants to try to get away from this one. But they are sending three dudes after him. Jax, do we get out of these? I'm not sure. Maybe? If Hans over Mako flashes. I mean, he has the... He's oh, flashing. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Mako flashes over. The Counter-Strike isn't going to block enough. Not here, not now, no way, not yet. Kingen is down, and Cream's getting a payday. Yeah. The entire package here for top. They have been looking very, very dominant in this game, number one. And it's nice to see, because in the playoffs... So just a couple more, and he will be online smolder. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is, you're staring down the barrel of a 7,000 gold lead with a soul point status and it's for Hextech the soul. opponents. It's a really, really vertical cliff to have to climb right now for DK in this game one. Exactly, and Showmaker is a mile away from his third Probably item. Probably the right. game being decided right here. All right, it's soul fight time. TP coming in from Kingen. Top Esports backing away, but continuing slow DP under the dragon. King in on the left flank. Everybody else on DK here on the right. TN going to be grabbed there by the Skarner. The objective bounty claimed by Cream. Lucid. DK getting it done. But now Cream's going between worlds off the side while 369 and King and Duel off on the left. It's going to be the first kill on Mohab. Top Esports are about to lose their mid laner. He's down. Now they're going to turn right back over onto King. In. The Jax goes into the Zonias. He's staying alive for now with another beautifully timed counter strike. He flashes back over the wall. DK's going to try to regroup. But the Ash has the damage. Jackie Love gets it done. And it's a one for two trades. To turn the they fight in Top Esports' favor. Yeah, it just becomes so difficult. And now the Baron is going to be secured here by sure Top. Sure that they did not give that Hex soul, so at least you can count that as a silver lining. But Top Esports are barreling down top lane now. You can see they've still got 369 over in mid for the split pressure. It's still going to take them a while to try to chip through some of this, except for 369 nearly killing. There it goes, the one in mid lane already down as that inhibitor is now exposed. Top Esports happy to wait for the next wave to arrive here in the top lane. Objective bounty claimed in the bot lane at the same time as the tier 2 is destroyed by Kangen. And now Top sees the opportunity to full send it underneath the tier 3 here on the top side. It's already gone. Moham and Lucid going to be taking a lot of damage as Moham's about to be killed. Lucid gets away back underneath the Nexus turrets. Moham's still alive somehow. Top Esports haven't lost a man and the Skarner's also down. 3v5 for DK. Top Esports claim their first inhibitor. They claim two inhibitor turrets. They get everybody out and 369 is ready to retreat and teleport back into the fight. Yeah, Aiming got a lot of members over on the top side really low, but he just couldn't actually finish them off, couldn't chase in to be able to get those kills. And now the job gets so difficult, the TP's coming back in. All right, Top Esports want to end it right here. First Nexus, Turret and second, both dropping at about the same speed. Kingen wants to keep these guys away with a Counter-Strike, but it ain't going to do enough. Both turrets already dead. Three, six, nine. Tanking it up on the front line as Kingen is already down. Aiming focused up next. He flashes back into the fountain, but it will not matter. And um, Jax... I mean, they do magic damage too, right? Like, yeah. it's not quite a 50 50 split. But they um, have some mixed Lucid in. a little yeah. bit more agency and options in the other game. Not that I expect anything too creative in a Sejuani versus Skana matchup. Ooh, Ooh of, immediate jump in. The Zenith play from Moham oh. is a mistake. He goes too far forward. A massive blunder from the DK support. I mean, it, it feels like he just forgot about how Rel works because Rel's going to flip <laughs> you in. Like, yes, he maybe wasn't initially in the tower range, but he's just going to get. Dismount flipped into the tower, stunned up, and Moham gives over a freebie. That is rough. Ooh, nice engage coming up from Kingen here, trying to use that counter strike to lock up Cream, who dies to the proc on the E snapback. Beautifully done there. Pull Combo with the, the grubs. Top Esports would love to at least just smite one of these down, make sure that they can secure it. There it is, one to one on the first set of grubs, but DK has a four man unit ready to try to play here. Nice engage coming out. They go for the slam into the wall. Between Worlds finds multiple targets as Showmaker now snaps back. A lot of pressure and damage onto Jackie Love, and he drops first in the fight. TN finally gets a return kill here on a Showmaker, but now he's in a little bit of trouble himself. Mohan gets away with just 100 HP as Mako is slowed down by the Sejuani, and Cream continues trying to find a little bit more damage. The Weirding has some. 
but is it enough? They finally end up getting another one for one trade with a 2v2 here at the very end. Cream has more health, but he has no mana. Lucid trying to get away, and he has to flash to avoid the three hit passive. Cream, they, they need to take advantage of how good they are in the early game, how they can build these advantages with their mechanics, with their individual skill, and set themselves up for a better spot. Nice engage there. The lockup on Jackie Love. Moham needs a little bit more damage to secure the kill. Jackie's still kiting. He gets away with sub 100 HP back underneath the safety of the turret. A nice engage from DK, but great peel there from Mako. You know, normally in that situation, you wouldn't want from DK just connecting on Jackie Love with the very edge of the bullet time. You're seeing the strength of getting that BF sword in the two versus two, but 369, this is a kill angle. Yeah, he's going in, wants King in here. Flash to follow, jumps right back in with a little bit of footwork and the end toe foe strikes. World Bit. thus far, so important for 369, having a bounce back game. Not only does he get the kill, he gets a plate off the back of it. Proxy Demolish already had the sheen as well. And we may be getting another scrap here, but it looks like it's probably too late from DK. Well, hold on. Cream could be in a little bit of a compromise spot here. It's never too late for here. DK, is there? <laughs> DK is still on their approach. They throw out the Glacial Prison, but it ain't going to find a whole lot yet. A lot of damage under Jackie Love. Barely staying alive here with about 50 HP. Showmaker going to grab the kill, but TM with a massive three. Man, ulti, no damage to follow it up. DK will get their single kill. They will take away the one He's void. on the top side of the map, and he's uh, continuing to ramp up. Yeah, if we're talking about item spikes, there's quite a few coming through right now. Hold on, we'll talk about him in a second, unless this turns into something absolutely crazy. There's your Wombo combo with the engage. The Ishtal impact from Dien followed up CC's with all good. the CC. Before we got the dive, first item power spikes are coming in for a lot of champions. You've got the Zeeks for the Sejuani, Heartsteel again for the Skarner in this game, along with that Bloodthirster for the misfortune of aiming that is 2-1-2, and two, as Moham could be in a bad spot here. Crash down plus the weirding, little bit of damage on that one as Kingen has to get away back underneath the tier one turret in the bottom side of the map at the same time with the bullet time flying in over the top. A lot of damage onto Cream, beautifully punished from DK as top chase a little bit too far. But now what is this? Lucid nearly caught out there thanks to the Skarner ulti, but a flash into an Arctic Assault back over the wall. And now Jackie Love is once again in the sights of Aiming and DK. One more shot to the head and Jackie's out of there. Aiming still fighting as Tien tries to get the last little bit of damage onto Lucid to make this one a one for one trade. Well, Showmaker chases after Mako. Showing you. The... Yeah, it's a huge advantage for Aiming, but also a massive advantage for 369 in that top lane 1v1 that we haven't really seen a whole lot from after the solo kill. Now the Ripcoat is the target for top esports. Mohamed Lucid walking up. Lucid wants to be able to challenge here for the flip, and he steals it away. Beautifully done with the bullet time in over the top. It's not going to find a whole lot of damage as Showmaker tries to jump in. He resets his position and gets back away, but Lucid's going to be killed off first as Cream tries to disengage. Kingen in the middle of everybody with a counter strike, but he ain't going to find a lot. 369 is on the hunt as Moham and Kingen try to get out. Tien still chasing. Moham's about to drop. DK lose two men. Yes, they might have stolen away the Herald. They do end up being able to pick it up thanks to Showmaker. Yeah, and this time Showmaker actually going to TP back, and he's looking for Jackie. He's ready to keep going on the front line, though, with King, and they aren't going to find the target they're looking for. DK, though, they summon up the Rift Herald here in the mid lane. They claim the tier one turret. Cream from Showmaker onto the back line, but you kind of look at who's actually in the fight, and it's really only Showmaker and Lucid, so good target selection from Top Esports is now Cream. Oh, Cream, they pop the tier one turret in time, and now with a TP coming in to reinforce him, it's Cream at 369 against King and Showmaker. 369. Oh, long enough. Still on the chase here, has join. the third in Tofo strike, looking for the knockback. Hits Kingen. Not really a whole lot more to get out of this one, though. They had Mako and Tien coming up around the side in case the fight kept going. But Top Esports not going to disengage it after having kept their mid laner alive. Hold on, Moham. Now the target. Tien ready to tunnel through the wall here to back up Mako. Remember, this Leona is very, very, very tanky. Still at about half HP. Impale to drag him right on back. <laughs> they are throwing everything in the kitchen sink at this dude, and he's still getting away. Cream finally takes the kill. I mean, that was available. available. And when we see the vision, DK is largely starved of this dragon. And I think their top side is so strong right now. You know, two items across really the board here. You're looking at the jungle on the top from the other side, way weaker. Showmaker over the wall there with the soul unbound, but he has to snap back. The Drake is going to be claimed before Lucid can try to show up and threaten a 50-50. Tien wants to jump over the wall. Lucid's about to lose the Arctic armor. They're trying to use a lot here on the Sejuani. The Impale only onto the enemy tank. Showmaker's looking for the angle here, but Lucid's going to be killed off first. Jackie Love taking the kill as Moham is isolated from the rest of the team. Jackie Love's trying to be protected by Mako and Tien. He needs to kite out away from the Yone, but a nice move coming out from Showmaker to take him down. Aiming is kiting it out. Tien is about to die. Kingen, look Looking for a little bit more as Tien gets away, but finally aiming, getting the last auto attack, and a double kill back over to the AD carry from DK. But he's the only one left standing. Seven dead bodies. That would have done, but he made the decision to instead shut down Cream to eliminate that threat.
Lucid could be in a compromised spot here, but he has enough time to get away before the rest of Top Esports show up. And it looks like Top is starting up the Baron. This they want to force TP from Kingen. A little dicey, yeah. They want Kingen's attention here. There is vision in that hallway near the Baron pit. Lucid is around. The TP. Top Esports now turning for the fight. Lucid's going to be the focus here at the start, taking a lot of the damage between worlds, ready to drop and cut, try to keep DK in place, but Kingen has already killed Jackie Love. He'll be traded back. Lucid is very low. He's already going to be killed now as 369 goes on a killing spree. Over the wall he goes to bring back another one on DK's side. A double kill for the Cassante as he tries to get away, but Showmaker is making plays on top esports. DK is ready here in his second game. Even oh. flashing over the wall there to escape Showmaker's Yone. Top esports draft hubris is being punished. Showmaker is showing them this Yone and why you do not let it through. They are focusing Jackie Love so well. Kingen on the Jacks. Oh. They're down a combined 3.4, 3.5k gold just in those two rolls. Now, yeah, it's it DK in the driver's seat. They've got these two great split pushing champions and they've got 90 seconds to bulldoze some structures in side lanes. I mean, there's just a lot of standing goals for DK to just grab, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Lucid continues to, like, it looks like he's getting caught, but he can tank so much of the damage up, and it forces Top Esports to overextend oh, again. TN missing the Impale. That one's going to hurt as Showmaker has to reset his position with the Soul Unbound. He popped the QSS to get away. Moham's going to keep the fight going. Bullet time gets TN very low, but he ain't dead yet. Still burning to the Ignite. Barely Around. survived. DK has kind of reached some of those scaling breakpoints that they needed to. Top, though, going to be moving in is, I feel like DK just thought Top weren't going to even try to contest, and they're not in position to actually fight for this, even with the lead. Yeah, Showmaker has to snap back, and Top can claim themselves their has second QSS. Drink. He has a giant spelt on top. He's got some HP with the Stride Baker. Like, this is not someone easy to burst down. Yeah, Cream. Talking about or easy to burst down, though, Aurora does not want to get any closer to this Jax. Lucid coming into back King and up. No throws flash. out oh. the Glacial Prison, but Cream just a hop, skip, and a jump. It's really, really tough. They need to have that perfect fight where Jackie Love somehow is having a big effect. And they're looking for aiming. Yeah, they want this misfortune if they can get him. Aiming slowed down, but the Impale has already missed. 369, one of the pincer attack, but it's Kingen coming around from the side now as Jackie Love is immediately locked up, but he's trying to kite it out to get away in time. Kingen down to one third HP, but Showmaker's into the back. Line with a fate seal. Jackie still under pressure. Showmaker snapping back. Top esports with an HP advantage, but nobody dead on either side. Third and Topo strike comes out. 369 looking to keep the chase going. Kill the rep up for his team. He's life sealing up off it, but here comes King again, and Jackie Love is off to the side by himself. Jackie Love at low HP, but the rest of the team is ready to try to turn. Mako with a shattering strike. Top esports panicking to protect their AD carry. They're forced off the Baron. So you could argue that that was a one team fight for top esports in the sense that they got position over the baron but the health bars are now going back up for dk the mid tower is going to drop top esports need an opportunity for reset they're but starting. they're not going to be given one mm -hmm. as dk is just going to put the pressure immediately back onto top as they start the baron beautifully done from dk now they're the ones forcing top esports to respond 369 against kingen is not feeling good for the Cassante. 32 minutes into the game not against the three item jacks tn wants to try to dive through the wall but instead he has to flash away from the solar flare worrying about getting burned it down himself. The Skarner not tanking out too. And again, that's the awkward spot. We'll see if they can catch one of these recalls. This could be a little bit greedy from DK. Moham's trying to get out now. Lots of flashes being spent as Lucid also gets himself out. Showmaker looking for an entry into the fight and aiming goes unstoppable. Bullet time cuts down Mako and Top Esports are in a 4v5. Aiming with a single shot back at the Jackie Love. TN coming in. Aiming with a flash away. Now is the engage from Moham. Ain't gonna be good enough. He's down to about death's door and they finally get him. Cream takes the kill. Lucid trying to get away in 369 goes all out all in all the way forward for top esports kingen swoops around to try to cut the wave but top just found a miracle it's all nines for 369 in this one taking over on that fight gets in on aiming flips him in gets kingen the is very powerful on this top lane jacks 32 minutes into the game Loose at about one third HP. Cream wants to keep the jacks away. Three six nine, barely hanging on. Very small health bar. TN wants to guarantee he can secure this objective for his team, but Lucid goes over the wall, ready to jump into the pit. The Baron's going to be claimed by the Aurora of all people. Cream's living the dream. Kingen has to try to get away. Cream still in hot pursuit. The jacks will live, but Top Esports aiming over steps. He steps too far forward, and Top Esports find a window to engage. Top. Yeah, and honestly, a great read. You know, they saw them walking through the river. It just had the read that they might be going for a recall in that brush. Power if to keep 
this going. Jack Show completed for Jackie Love will help him against this Yone and Jax trying to dive onto him, but it's still just a single tank item against two very fed divers. Arm Guard now completed for King and Jax as well. Top Esports still looking to push onto the tier three turret. Mako on the front line, gotta be a little bit careful. Jackie Love saves him. Top Esports backing away for now. And Cream has his death cap now completed. He is solo AP on that team, so he is gonna be a massive threat. Okay, tier three turret, oh, just about going. dead here in the bottom lane. Just about dead over in the mid lane as well. Lucid's gonna be dragged back by the Impale. Cream goes between worlds, and Lucid is down. King into the back, trying to cause some disruption, but he's gonna be hurt next. Mohawk about to drop. 369 here on the front line, needs a little bit more damage, and again, the Cassante will not stop. Kingan's on the run, top eSports. Looked like they had no shot left, and now they are pushing into the DK base. Show Maker King and an aiming all still alive. Top with all five men still ready to go, but they gotta be careful with some low health bars. Showmaker goes in for a fate sealed. Big bullet time of oh, the matter. Cream has already killed Showmaker. Aiming is about to be caught. King jumps into a 1v4, but he will not find his hero's moment. An ace for Jackie Love and a sweep for top esports. DK tried and they could not do it. Top will rise to the occasion and make their way to the quarterfinals for the first time since 2020. And they will do it with a 2-0. These were the best highlights from today's World's 2024 matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.